Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, I talked a big game last episode uh, and I made a bit of, um, I made some notes, I made a little Excel. I have a plan for what we're supposed to be doing and all of that plan actually starts with finishing up the watchtowers in this area as well as maybe seeding uh, the northern part with uh, one of these maintenance trailers we got from uh, uh, the trader store in the last few episodes. Now we are going to be doing that. We are the second st stage would be just getting all of the upgrades. We're going to be doing that in um, both this um, both Island Lake and uh, Drummond. And after that, we will uh, start going slowly through the list of. Um, the list of uh, contracts as I mentioned we do have okay. I was gonna say something but what are we stuck already let's get unstuck but come back to the point um, there is a certain progression of uh, contracts slash turn missions which we will be going uh, down and uh, hopefully completing. I'm gonna still be trying to do some of the tasks uh, left over and for sure uh, we are gonna focus when uh, it's needed to actually uh, solve the bridge situations and all those uh, road access uh, tasks if we have any contracts linking to them. I'm also thinking about uh, getting another truck. I've looked at, looked at my options and I think we have a P12 or P16. P16, I think. Uh, super heavy truck that we can uh, unlock. I'm, I'm not to be certain right now where it is. I think it's maybe in Drummond. Uh, we may want to get that before we go too deep into um, doing stuff over here in Island Lake. Don't get me wrong, I love my uh, Paystar and my Fleetstar. They're both doing a great job. However, uh, as shown here, I mean, if we're going to be hauling like semi-trailers of like five slots of cargo mm, through this, yeah, that's not going to be entirely fun. We require more uh, power and we'll probably get that with uh, either some uh, heavy trucks or that is an option, but it kind of takes us way off of our uh, off of our goal uh, to actually take the Chevrolet out and start uh, scouting out Alaska. But I kind of really don't want to open up a whole new map, to be fully honest. Oh, there's a trailer here. Let's uh, check it out. Let's detach this and we'll come back to it. But let's check that one out. If it's a fuel trailer, we'll know to actually get this uh, service trailer a bit higher up in this area, just so we don't uh, overlap trailers. Again, given the fact that there is no refueling, minus the trailer store at the beginning of the map. And it definitely takes us more than 240 liters of fuel to get from um, the beginning of the map to what I assume is the end of the map. We will require to seed uh, oil tankers. And there we go. Yeah, sure enough, this is Scout uh, fuel tanker. Let's just get close enough so we get the unlock and the XP for it. And uh, let's head back. That's enough for this. So yeah, I noticed this map does have a few traders already preceded for our convenience. It doesn't just leave us uh, empty-handed. But I'm trying to uh, get some more fuel out there. If you've been watching this series so far, you know that while I am capable of uh, handling fuel usage, I, I think I only ran out of fuel terribly like once. Um, even so, still, I do kind of... Uh, want to make sure that we 
are not looking at the fuel gauge every time. And I don't really want to super cheat with, you know, just getting a scout out here, uh, unfueling it and then freely recovering it. I did sell the twin star, the twin steer, sorry. Uh, if only for the sake that I just gave you the quick spin and the fixed semi trader, well, the fixed semi bed, just made it really, really hard to handle. However, uh, the super truck, well, heavy truck, whatever, uh, features like the heavy winch and such have been fantastic. That's why I've been looking at uh, the P12, P16 as options. Also the bigger wheelbase and uh, just more power because I mean right now we have the trailer stuck in that little tree I want to not bother with that you know I just want to go right through it and not worry about tiny rocks and stuff like that it's still just a matter of force right I just need a bit of a winch here to get us back on track and that's it uh, we have already unlocked this if I'm not mistaken let's give it a quick look yeah. So let's push north. out service truck with us actually uh, I should probably check uh, we had two of these right uh, and we used one one of its repair uh, fully and entirely to do the first stage fixing on the twin steer which we then recovered so I'm uncertain if this is the one that still has repair points great yeah this is the one that still has like 90 repair points so yeah let's try not to get too damaged. Uh, to be fair, I don't think damage is that big of a deal on this map. flat terrain with mud, which doesn't really cause any damage, just going through it. Not like we can uh, skid over off a mountain or something, like we can in um, Smithsville Dam. I did notice that um, out of all the contracts we have available, uh, one of them is getting the, the cargo containers, the two cargo containers from the quarry, which, <laughs> well, it doesn't require us to actually get those specific cargo containers, you know? It requires just two cargo containers, and we already have one out. I'm thinking maybe we will just uh, skip that one, you know? And get ourselves just uh, one container out again just uh, if we already did the work to get one container out I don't think we need to get another one out well that's a container right let's hope it's not the actual cargo itself because I think they use the same model you know the, the Sabre branded metal container Is 
is mucky. Okay, let's switch over to low French lock. I don't even think I really need all-wheel drive for this. It's just a matter of getting a good contact on the ground. But no. Apparently we kind of do. Actually, uh, it might have been smart to leave the trailer here. Instead of actually dragging it with us, we don't really need it here. So yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, just leave it at this fork road here. Fork road? Road fork? Road fork. Well, that's if we can actually get out of this. That'd be nice. Let's release that winch. Let's pull this ever slightly to the side. We don't want to leave this in the middle of the road. Stop. Detached trailer. Refuel. Let's guzzle it up. And let's head out. I think it's fine to switch to auto now. Also, uh, I've read, been reading a bit about Alaska and I found it funny how most people are mentioning that Alaska is actually highways. I, I, I haven't been to Alaska yet and I keep fearing that it's like full of icy roads and uh, uh, horrible, horrible muck and hor deep snow and stuff like that. I'm, I'm thinking it's like a high level area, but if it ends up being easier than this, yeah, <laughs> that'd be funny. Okay, so we unlocked uh, one upgrade path, fallen antenna, which requires one something something to deliver, and corporate expansion as a task. Uh, let's see if... Probably gonna get this a green now. Uh, I think we have a good path through here, here, and I think we can squeeze through these trees to get here. Okay, this is a bridge construction. Again, wooden planks. We, apparently wooden planks is really the material you need to do all the bridges in this area. Yeah, so it makes sense to only start doing that after we get the um, lumber mill up and to do that we need to do two contracts we need to do not the drill and winter um, winter supplies before we can actually do the lumber mill restoration because if we do the lumber mill restoration we can totally just uh, drag how many planks we need around here heading right now? Yeah, I can if I really want to. This isn't that heavily forested like I thought it would be. But still, let's take it easy. Flipping here would be entirely bad. So, let's stick to a straight round, even if we have to. Go through these two trees here. Well, we can't. There we go. Now let's see what this is. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, we're doing this, aren't we? Yes, we are. Get the upgrades. And we're sinking slowly into the mud. GB6V2400. Uh, modern engine, modified compatible with older, older chassis. Uh, tuned for impressively low fuel consumption. And modern reliability. Cool. And this is for the Ford CLT9000. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Either way. I guess this is uh, the higher level area, so this deals with higher level, higher level um, trucks. Either way, uh, I think the safest bet now is to try and get back to the road here. Let's hope it's not terribly mucky, and see if we can do this. Uh, this watchtower here. be 
try and stick to as much of this uh, forest as possible. But I am going to be switching over to low gear just because I don't trust the terrain. We've been bouncing all over it and I don't like it. Let's try heading a bit upwards, going straight down. I don't like how much uh, the truck has been tilting it. I'm being overly cautious just because I don't want to end up in a rollover situation here. in the car. Heard about Jim, the local farmer, went out hunting last week and managed to get his car stuck real good in the swamp. Ain't no good. You know, we were getting this thing out of our own, our own. Maybe we can give it a try. Yeah, okay. If we are around it, maybe we'll give it a shot. So where's the truck? Yeah, not on our way. Well, it could be on our way. And we have to deliver it back here. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we'll do it on, uh, on the return trip. But for the moment, we have another two towers to unlock. And we are trying to manage our uh, fuel consumption just a bit. Right, so there is a path if we really want to to that tower, so we don't have to go the, the long way around. I mean, there's a lot of uh, trees here, so I'm not really worried about getting bogged down. So yeah, let's just uh, make it easy. Lock. Let's only turn on all-wheel drive if we really have to, which apparently we do. Yeah, totally. And yeah, let's muck our way through.
hot though. So just a single objective. We have an upgrade location. Let's do launch observation just for the sake of a bit of eye candy. So a little help from my friends. Which oh and a fuel carrier trailer, so we got some fuel up here, cool. Uh, however, let's do. Let's find. Let's get this upgrade. It shouldn't be entirely terrible given it's just climbing here. But that's how I always jinx it, right? Okay, all wheel drive on. Low range. And actually, let's check it out. Okay, road seems pretty straight. We shouldn't have any real tilting issues. Suspension for the Kodiak C70. Okay, we haven't been using the Kodiak C70 at all. Uh, but it's good that we have it, right? Let's uh, head down using the alternate path and swing by here. Oh, oh we have another tunnel in here. Does that. Wait, does that lead to anywhere else? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a link between Island Lake and Drummond. Huh, cool. Okay, well, we'll definitely have to get that uh, checked out. Oh, be easy there. There's a path here, there's a tree in the middle of it now. Ooh, easy there. I mean, speed is really a double edged sword, isn't it? equally save you and damn you. Boss is gonna throw us off, you don't get it delivered on time. Can you do us a solid and help us out? Rewards, okay, accept. Just have it accepted. Oh, reach, 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 that's it. Just reach those points, okay. That's not something we're gonna be doing right now. Thankfully, we are gonna be refilling off with this carrier. Then we're gonna be heading out, getting this last uh, watchtower here. Oh, uh, we actually said we're gonna be 
checking out uh, Drummond, unlocking the Drummond access point. Maybe even crossing over. Maybe there's a quick and easy watchtower access there. Because I don't think we got all of Drummond, did we? We had a few things uh, still uh, left out. <laughs> I just flopped into the water and that was that. Thank you. That was definitely not a 4 out of 5 uh, auto situation. dollar fine for littering and forced <laughs> sure I'm entirely sure that littering is this area's biggest problem with all the tourists coming in in these pristine war roads uh, okay shall we yeah let's just head over to drama Island just for a second I want to see um, where that uh, dumps us out Okay, uh, yep, exactly. As I mentioned, it's uh, one of the areas which are near to one of these uh, watchtowers. So let's uh, quickly hit this and then head on back to Island Lake. But I totally hate these Comic Sans signposts, I swear. Honestly, if I'm to get any mods for this, I don't think anything would convince me more, you know, as a first uh, thing than just that. Oh! <gasps> oh! Hello there! Oh! Oh! Hello there! Uh... Sure... Oh, so this guy wants to make me a bridge. Uh, sorry, wants me to make him a bridge. I was getting excited because uh, it's a two-plank trailer, which they totally use in uh, totally use in Yellow Lake to make a bridge. Okay, so which which one was this? Support local rangers, I think. No. Which quest was this? Yeah, support local rangers. Right. So. Um. Hmm. 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 Interesting. I do have a choice here. Well, we'll see when we get back. Uh, I'm actually thinking I'll get that. And possibly fix the bridge that uh, leads from um, Smithville Dam into the Island Lake. That would make it a lot easier for us to put up the logging camp, lumber mill again. And, well not again, but you know, be, make it easier for me to put it up uh, the first time, because I'll be going there with uh, heavy loads apparently. No, 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 no. There we go. Easy does it. It's not... I have too many troubles here, shall we? Oh, and that's a tipped over tanker, cool. Actually, I think yeah, we have one quest that involves us going over there and picking up something or another. Oh, and there's a cheap upgrade here. Yeah, sure, I'll take it, why not? If only these rocks would actually have any traction to them, that'd be nice. Because it does feel like they're just little ice nuggets. Like you know, harsh bits of terrain. Oh my god! <gasps> okay, I'm uh, I'm sorry for that, guys. Oh my! Finally, we got the off-road gearbox for the Fleet Star. Oh wow! And for the base star as well. 
that's... Well, for everything, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Great, great, great. That's utterly fantastic. That's utterly, utterly fantastic. I love it. I've been just... So this is where it was hiding out. Cool. Uh... Oh. Actually, there's a log station here. Huh. Interesting. That's very, very interesting, to be fair. Interesting. If we have a log station here, that would uh, actually make it really... Well, not easy, but... For sure, okay, yeah, for sure I'm uh, yoinking this guy's planks here, although this is a terrible way to climb this hill, so let's be more careful. Let's not get super excited because of that upgrade. Let's turn around in a very safe fashion here. Just to be sure, let's do this. Not we're gonna be needing it, but whatever. Smart for us just to go through this. Uh, I guess we could, but let's not, though. Oh, easy. There we go. Much better angle of climbing. Yeah, I stuck a. Uh for a bit of time on uh, the SnowRunner subreddit and you have like actual real truckers there that actually drive some of these trucks in real life and they're using like terms like angle of attack and whatever which I am just nodding along pretending to understand what they mean I mean it's it's interesting to me how you know some people what the thing they consider recreation is the thing they actually are doing day to day. So they come back from like a full day's uh, work, like I know chefs, right, or something. Full day's work, working in the kitchen, and they come home and then they can, uh, uh, they make something. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna steal these guys' um, trailer because we can totally get a new trailer with uh, wooden planks. Actually, let's double check. It's wooden planks, right? Uh, sideboard trailer with that the plank icon. Yep, perfect. So let's steal this. Come on, there we go. Let's steal this trailer. Let's uh, head back. Let's uh, travel through. Oh, by the way, was that was that quest specifically tied to that uh, trailer? Uh, so Michigan, Drummond Island. No, it's delivered to Rangers Bridge to wooden planks. Okay, cool. So it's not tied to that particular trailer itself. Right. So. With what we know now, what needs to happen is we need to get that load over here. That would be the smartest option. It's on our way and I'm super hoping we're going to be finding another um, fuel tanker around, along the way. I'm hoping. I don't know. I'm just hoping. Maybe we pull this up until the first intersection. We're gonna uh, drop it there, go up, do the watchtower, come back down. And, you know, I kind of feel that were were this to have another path down, it would be like down here somewhere. 
uh, for sure. I don't think this is the only path up here. I'm seeing some extra roads. So let's actually drag this along up until, I don't know, like the second intersection and then try and uh, head up. Just so we can uh, save a bit of time. I think these trailers, Fallout in the Wild, should just cost something. Like, I don't know, maybe half price because they're second hand or something, you're not buying them new. But uh, still, just yanking them, especially with cargo for free, seems uh, just a tiny bit silly. But then again, I guess the game isn't really based on uh, simulating a real economy. Okay, is this the second path? Yeah, this is the second path. And actually, it's a great thing that. Uh, this might be tough, but shouldn't be too terrible. Let's just... Uh, for a second I thought that that was like a UFO because it's just like a little glowy thing to the left of my screen. Anyway, let's dash the trailer. Let's head up. And yeah, I know. I've been getting more playtime out of the fleet start than maybe I would have even wanted the first uh, time I took it out. I'm not getting bored of it for sure, but uh, I kind of maybe want to try uh, a different truck by this point. Okay, so let's see if we can head head straight through here. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Oh, actually no, we can, uh, we can go through here. This seems totally feasible, minus the terrible rocks. I'm gonna try to between our wheels. We'll have a little, there we go, little bump there. Okay, easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. This, you can do it. Just need to squeeze through here. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, are we actually truly stuck? No, come on. Uh, okay, let's use low differential and see if that gets us. Okay, we had some give on the left side. Let's continue wiggling this a bit. Uh, let's should we try this. Yeah, let's try this. was enough. <laughs> we squeezed through that. It shouldn't have been possible, but it is what it is. Okay, no upgrades, absolutely nothing. This is just an empty area with a tower, which we're probably going to get to at one point in the future. Uh, let's head back down to the trailer. Uh, I oh. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I put my lights on the C key, and apparently the C key is hard locked to launch observation. Like, the guy can't even decide which way he wants to steer. Like, left, right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left. And that was us probably getting one of the wheels stuck. Where are we even going? Oh wow, we are we are not supposed to be going this way. Damn. We're heading straight into some deep forest. But are we out? Are we out? I think this is out. Definitely deeper in the forest than I would have wanted to go, but oh well. Let's take it easy, let's not scrape the truck into anything. Okay, I cannot see anything. But anyways, we're out. We are out. Oh! 
Wow, look at the clock. We've been actually going for uh, 40 minutes at, at this point. So, uh, let's do this because we still have a hell of a lot of, uh, of travel. Let's hitch this trailer. Let's turn off this engine. Have a look here. Yeah, we still have a lot. the watchtower then come down here i'm not even sure if we'll have enough fuel but i hope we do and actually where are we so even supposed to deliver this so bridge the gap okay it's not that oh did we just go past this logging station without me realizing that it's a logging station that produces planks Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so this is much easier than I initially thought it would be, and I'm hauling these here for nothing. Well, on that note, I think it's uh, it's fine to uh, leave this here for the, for the moment. Again, if you guys like this video, if you like the content I'm making, please do a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this was Cosmo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.